the late 19th century, there was a strong push to establish a permanent educational site in Sydney for working men and women due to the rapid economic growth and the need for technical training. This educational institution came to be known as the Sydney Technical College and the forerunner of Sydney TAFE. Building A was designed by W. E. Kemp, the government architect, in the Romanesque revival style and opened in 1892. Observe the semicircular arches giving the appearance of columns and the patterned multicoloured brickwork. How many brick colours can you count? Along the Marianne Street frontage, the original buildings, including Building A, are decorated with sandstone carvings of Australian flora and fauna. This was an unusual idea at the time, as many public buildings still paid tribute to European heritage and traditions. The use of kangaroos, lyrebirds, Australian lizards, even waratahs and banksias in the decorations was an assertion of Australian nationalism. See if you can spot a koala and her baby. The stonework designs were influenced by the renowned Frenchman Lucien Henri, a teacher of arts at Sydney Technical College. Henri inspired a whole generation of decorative artists and sculptors to use Australian flora and fauna in their designs. In 1892, there were 20 teaching departments, including agriculture, architecture, civil engineering, commerce, industrial and decorative arts, printing and mechanical engineering, as well as training in sheep and wool industries. The images you see here feature art classes dated 1909 and the students are drawing from plaster casts of antiquities. The art classes were conducted in Building A and occupied the second floor. Note the all-female class in one of the images. Back in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, day classes were catered mainly for women enrolled in courses such as domestic economy and cookery, as it was not the norm for women to be outside the home at night. Not unlike today, the majority of students, mostly male at that time, attended night classes because they worked during the day. <laughs> 